Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and today we're going to be taking a look at Green White Heroic as a budget deck. This deck is meant to be perfect for newer players or anybody that really enjoys playing the game casually. Uh, all the cards that we have here are really cheap, they're easy to acquire, and nothing's really going to break the bank. That's the best thing about building budget decks is all the cards are pretty cheap and they should be pretty easy to find or even buy online if you need to go and just buy the deck um, just completely straight out. Uh, so nothing is really expensive. We do have a decent bit of rares, but even the rares themselves aren't really going to cost that much money. The entire deck list is down in the description below where you guys can check it out if you're just interested in taking a look at the deck list. But uh, we are going to go over it here uh, in a second. Um, the deck list is also available via tappedout.net where you guys can check it out. You can take a look at the deck list and you can scroll over the card names and uh, familiarize yourselves with the cards if you need to take more time reading them or anything like that. So... Uh, with Green White Heroic, uh, we're going to be playing with creatures that are going to have the heroic mechanic, and they're going to get bigger based on us casting spells that target our creatures. So uh, whenever we cast a spell that targets a uh, card like Favorite Hoplite, for instance, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on him, and we prevent all damage that will be dealt to him this turn. Um, so that's our first creature. He's our one drop uh, in the deck, and he's a one to making him a perfect creature to play on turn one and to make bigger with our spells that are going to target him in future turns. So we have four favorite Hoplite as a one drop. Uh, we have a Crone Skyguard, so one one for two mana, flying and heroic. Uh, off of heroic he gets a plus one plus one counter as well. Uh, but the Evasion makes him a pretty nice creature to be able to hit in some easy damage against our opponent if they don't have anything to block flying with. So four a Crone Skyguard. Uh, we have four Hero of Iroas, one of my more favorite cards in Born of the Gods. Uh, he's a 2-2 two, two for 2 mana, and Aura spells uh, we cast cost 1 less to cast, and we do have a decent bit of Auras that we're playing in this deck. Uh, and off of Heroic, he's going to get a plus 1, plus 1 counter as well, uh, just like the majority of our creatures here. So, uh, 4 Hero of Iroas. We have Spirit of the Labyrinth, which is going to play into kind of this little enchantment theme that we have going on in the deck. Uh, it's a 3-1 for 2 mana. Unfortunately, it's not... Uh, creature that has heroic in this deck, but it is going to restrict players from drawing extra cards during their turn So each player can't draw more than one card each turn uh, off of our spirit of the labyrinth being there So we have four spirit of the labyrinth uh, We have Eidolon of countless battles. So our Eidolon is actually a zero zero for three mana uh, We can also bestow him for four mana as a aura spell as an aura enchantment and we can uh, attach it to a creature instead of playing it as a creature itself, and uh, he in, he's going to get a plus one, plus one boost for each creature we control, and plus one, plus one for each aura that we control, uh, or if we enchant him, the enchanted creature is going to get that buff. So Eidolon is a pretty interesting card that's going to play off of the auras that we have, and also the creatures that we have, so the more we keep on playing, the bigger he's going to get, or the bigger the enchanted creature is going to get. So we have four Eidolon of Countless Battles. And we have four Fabled Heroes, so that's our last creature of the deck. Uh, so our Fabled Hero is a 2-2 two, two for 3 with Double Strike, but he also has Heroic, so the bigger we can make him, the more we can hit in with that Double Strike. So he gets a plus 1, plus 1 for each uh, spell that we cast that targets him. So four Fabled Hero. And then we have Ethereal Armor, so this is going to play into our minor enchantment theme that we have going on. So uh, it's a 1-mana enchantment, enchants a creature, and gives a plus 1, plus 1 for each in enchantment that we control and the creature is also going to have first strike so if we're playing things like our Eidolon of Countless Battles, things like uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth and the rest of the enchantments that we have in our deck we are pretty good in our realm of being able to deal a decent bit of damage and also have a creature that has first strike which will be awkward for our opponent to block so for Ethereal Armor we have Gift of Orzova so uh, this is our aura for 3 mana that's going to enchant our creature and give a plus 1, plus 1 flying and lifelink as well, which can help us out in the matchups where our opponent's trying to race us and get us to 0 as quick as possible. Uh, we can interact with our heroic, we can put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on one of our creatures, also give it a plus 1, plus 1 boost, flying and lifelink, and we can gain back a decent chunk of like life each time that we're swinging in with that creature. Also, because it's an aura, it's going to cost one less if we have our hero of Iroas out. So, we have four of our Gift of uh, Orzova, which is essentially going to be double white and one generic mana to cast. We have Troll Hide, so going into our uh, green splash here for green white heroic. Uh, it's a 3-mana enchantment aura. 
and the enchanted creature is going to get plus two plus two and it has um two mana one generic one green regenerate this creature which can be good up against uh removal that our opponent has that could say like destroy target creature or stuff like that or even board wipes that our opponents may have like supreme verdict that'll destroy all creatures we can regenerate our creature and still keep it alive and uh, keep the game going for us so we have four troll hide to be able to regenerate our creatures and also give them a little bit of a boost uh, we have Unflinching Courage, so we enchant our creature, another enchantment aura, and it's going to give our enchanted creature plus two, plus two, trample, and lifelink. So another way of gaining back life in the aggro matchups, uh, but it's also going to make our creature big and give it trample. So if our creature's already big and our opponent's blocking with smaller creatures, we can trample over the rest of the damage to our opponent. So four Unflinching Courage. And then we have our lands. So for our land base, we are playing Temple of Plenty, uh, which is probably the most expensive rare in this deck. If you guys don't have the money to splurge on Temple of Plenty, uh, you can just replace the four copies that we have here with just two more planes and two forests. Uh, but otherwise, Temple of Plenty makes it nice for this deck to have another dual land, and it also lets us scry as well, which is a pretty nice and convenient thing to have. So... Um, it's going to enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever it enters the battlefield, we get the scry one, and it taps for either green or white to our mana pool. So we have four Temple of Plenty. Uh, we also have four Selesnya Guildgate as another dual land for us. Enters the battlefield tapped. Doesn't have a scry effect, but we get to add either green or white to our mana pool. So four of those. And then for our basic lands, we're playing ten basic planes. And we are playing two basic forests. So overall, we have 10 sources of green in our uh, land base for our green spells that we have. Uh, more so as a splash than anything else in this deck for Green White Heroic. So that is our main board for the deck. Now let's take a look at what we're packing in the sideboard for some of the uh, different things that we could encounter. So uh, for the sideboard, I've put four Mortals Resolve in here. Uh, so it's an instant speed card that is going to be cast for two mana and it gives target creature plus one plus one and indestructible until the end of the turn. So if you see that your opponent's playing a lot of cards that are just going to be like, all right, well, destroy target creature or stuff like that or destroy all creatures, you can set in Mortals Resolve and you can respond to those cards that your opponent's playing by giving your creature indestructible and uh, allowing it to survive any cards that your opponents have that are going to destroy your stuff. So the four Mortals Resolve are for like removal that your opponents may have. Uh, it's also good up against other creature decks. If your opponent has a lot of things that can trade with your creatures by blocking, uh, we can use Mortals Resolve and give indestructible and be able to kind of win those interactions. Uh, we have three Glare of Heresy, so if our opponent's playing a lot of white permanents, we have our spell here that is going to exile target white permanent for two mana uh, at a sorcery speed. So things like white creatures that our opponents may have, even things that are hybrid colored that are like detention sphere, we can exile them and we can not have to worry about them. So the three glares for that. Uh, we have two Revoke Existence to allow us to exile target artifact or enchantment for two mana. So up against things that our opponents may have that are annoying, like uh, Detention Spheres, uh, if they're playing any God cards as well, we can get rid of those uh, because we get to exile them and they're indestructible. So that's a way of getting around those as well. So uh, side it in as necessary. Uh, we have two Gift of Immortality, so again, up against decks that are going to be using like a lot of removal for our creatures or board wipes. Um, we enchant our creature, it's an aura, and whenever the enchanted creature dies, we return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control, and we return Gift of Immortality to the battlefield attached to that creature at the beginning of the next end step. So, as long as our opponent doesn't have two ways of destroying our creature in the turn, we are going to get back our creature and get back Gift of Immortality to our creature and be able to just kind of keep it around for a while. It makes our creatures much more resilient with uh, the Gift of Immortality. And our last card in the sideboard is Holy Mantle. So Holy Mantle is a 4 of, and it's a 4 mana enchantment aura that is going to give our enchanted creature plus 2, plus 2, and protection from creatures. So against other creature-heavy decks, Holy Mantle is really awesome because we are going to be able to swing in uncontested because our opponent can't block uh, because we have that protection from creatures on that creature. And uh, if we want to use uh, our creature that's enchanted by Holy Mantle, we can use it as a blocker, too, because no matter what our opponent's going to be swinging in with, we can block it, and because it has protection from creatures, uh, it's not going to die from those creatures, uh, or at least from combat math involving those creatures, which is 
pretty convenient for us. So we can either use that creature as a blocker or as a attacker that is going to get in and deal a whole bunch of damage without little contest or anything like that. So uh, the four holy mantle just basically as a way to be able to get in or use a blocker uh, conveniently. So that is our deck tech for green white heroic as a budget deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this video and check out our media outlets down in the description below. We have our Facebook link, our Twitter link and other cool stuff like that like our SoundCloud where we do podcasts every week. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more Magic the Gathering content, you can hit the subscribe button on the screen and you'll be notified whenever a new video is available. And for those of you guys that enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! You can check out my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel by clicking on the video in the top right hand corner. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors for the channel, ABU Games and Europe's MTG Madness, for all of your Magic the Gathering needs, no matter where you are.